Good evening, ladies and gents. It is June 14th, 2010, and <gasps> it's day nine daily number 136. Okay, so you'll notice that I probably look crisper than usual. I just look so clear, and I even have my, my pillow. This is my carpal tunnel pillow. I hug it while I'm at my computer to fend off carpal tunnel, which is, of course happens. Um when I'm not playing StarCraft regularly. This sound, sounds counterintuitive, but when I play StarCraft, I actually have amazing posture. It's like the best posture in the world. Like every piano teacher in the country, would, their hearts would melt when they saw my posture. But now that, you know, I'm not playing StarCraft, I'm just like hunched and I like, you know, I, I, I'm like watch. Ugh, I've been watching Batman, the animated series DVD. Oh, oh Batman, Batman. Oh my god, all you guys need to go look up the intro to Batman, the animated series. Oh, it's like so good, that music just oh, it gets me all pumped up. Like, I listen to that every day when I wake up and I'm heading into the shower. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm like all groggy and just like want to rip my face off because I should be asleep. But anyways, I've been watching that. And, and when I watch, I tend to hunch. I'm like this question mark with this claw. It's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, you know, at, at a computer, and, and of course this position, as you might imagine, is not good for the hand. So if I put this big, intrusive pillow in the way, helps deal with the carpal tunnel. Um, and of course, as many of you also know, I took the weekend off, and I've been watching Lie to Me on Netflix, which um, is a weird show. It's very rewarding, because there's basically this guy who, um, he's this British guy who's like a lie detector, but he's also a douchebag. I mean, have you ever met like people like this in real life who 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 try? To, oh, you know, you know what that little thing that that person did means. Mm, you know, you know what that means. That person who always begins with, you know, what that means. That is the main character of this of this series. It's a British person. What? Why'd you put grimace on your face? What are you disgusted with? And then what they do is they, um, before every commercial break, they show pictures of celebrities with the same face. There'll be some guy who's like, "No, I didn't kill her." And be like, Ugh. And, and it'll be like, oh my god, you're disgusted. Why, why is that? Why are you disgusted? And he always tilts his head around. And then they'll just cut to a picture of Bill Clinton going, Meh, and cut to a picture of Oprah Winfrey going, Meh. and then it's that's the end of, that's how it, it cuts off with the commercial. Just like, oh, look, real people go, because they're disgusted. And um, thus television prevails. So all in all, I've been very relaxing, been very kind, and very sort of, ah, oh, just a good, good, nice time. And World Cup soccer is cool too. That's all I'll say for that. Been watching a little bit of that myself. And you know what? It's time to appreciate Russia. Because Russia is the birthplace of a Terran genius known as Braddock. And um, I went off on a tangent. The, the whole reason I started talking was to point out how crisp my webcam looked. And that's because, apparently, through the process of doing all these dailies, I've been salivating on the camera. I don't know if you've ever seen large gobs of saliva just, bloop, just sort of plop on there, but when you look at the angle of the webcam just right, you see like a sheet of them on top, little glistening fuzziness there. So I cleaned it off, and look at me. It's day nine drinking coffee in 720p. Hmm. But Braddock, we got a chance to look at his Terran vs. Protoss skills the other day. We saw a very nice, very easy, very clean little push where he went um, for a marine-centric opening but then got some ghosts in there and got pretty fast medevacs and just chilled till he had this small but potent force of marine ghost medevac with stim and combat shield. Pretty awesome. So now we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of Bratok's TVZ style. And we're going to be taking looks at a little bit of a longer game, it appears. We have the Metalopolis coming up, which is um, a map that I, I personally like quite a bit because the games are generally a little bit longer on it. Um, but I, I would personally say it's Zerg favored. We have Braddock spawning here as the Orange Terran. And in the bottom, we actually have Mind, the genius player who did a very, very powerful Protoss vs. Zerg push in Day 9 Daily number 129 that hasn't been uploaded yet because I corrupted it to pieces. Uh, so at some point in the future, I will become a video encoding genius and solve that issue. But um, suffice to say that Mind really impressed me, really, really, really impressed me in those early stages of the um, of, of PVZ. And here he's playing Zerg against Braddock. So we will be taking a look at two games today. Daily might go a little bit over, but um, hope that doesn't.
doesn't ruin anyone's day. The fact that I went a little bit long, forgive me. So, Braddock beginning right away, doing a good old wall off here. And one of the reasons why I say that this map favors Zerg is because, just looking at the Zerg expanding pattern, follow me, journey with me to the mini-map. So we see that the Zerg's first natural expansion expands away from the Terran. It expands away from him. And then the next base expands away from Terran. And pretty much any base you take on the map, with the exception of this center gold expo, expands away from from the Terran. So it's always a little bit of an uphill battle for Terran to be able to deal with that. Now we do see Mind doing what is increasingly becoming um, a very popular standard in this matchup to get the gas before pool and um, to get really everything before a hatchery. And as a result we can get Zergling speed mondo quickly and we can easily deal with Hellion Harass, any sort of marine pressure. I mean, well really marine pressure is going to be non-existent. We're not expanding anytime soon. So easy for Breezy. And meanwhile, Braddock is um, being very fancy, doing normal stuff. Ooh, yes, Braddock's doing the most normal thing in the world, getting the supply depot. While if it is ramp, a little bit of an interesting choice, opting for a depot before a marine, thereby permanently trapping mines drone. A brutal, cunning move. Um, and of course, getting the orbital command relatively quickly. And what's so cool about this, and you know, what's generally awesome about Braddock as an individual.